What's up guys, welcome to SPM Buzz and of course we have Saudi TV coming to you from Kempinski. This is the big day of Hussein and uh, Mariga and with us we have a special guest, of course Nteza Kompe a chance, Eze could you introduce Kwetu, Karibu Sana. I'm Kolo Mali Moreno, MP Kibra Constituency. Yeah, of course, uh, I'm, I'm a close friend of Mariga. Mariga was my student uh, for four years. I was his coach at the high school, mm -hmm. and uh, also five of his brothers mm -hmm. and uh, two sisters. Uh -huh. So uh, we developed his talents at an early age. Mm -hmm. And that is why he has reached where he is. So we have kept close contact with him. Uh -huh. he's, he's one of those guys that you can trust to manage the affairs mm -hmm. of sports in this country. Uh -huh. He has undergone all the level that is requires, required within the sports management. He played in locally at our local league. He also played internationally and up to and including Inter Milan. And therefore, he has all it takes when it comes to the management of football. Mm -hmm. And now that we are looking at the future, we need somebody who will take care of the interests of the players at all, and somebody who knows what is required in the field of uh, sports, uh, because sports is an industry. So when he called me to come during the unveiling, his unveiling, I said, why not? So that's why I'm here today. Yeah. Maybe let's go back uh, to uh, the times that you said you were his coach at a high school level. How would you describe the four years or rather his high school days? A uh, very humble gentleman. Uh, was very thin tall when he joined the school. He couldn't manage first team in, during the first year. But gradually in Form 2, he started joining the school team. But when he reached Form 3, he became the most valuable player at the National Engineering. Uh, and, uh, and also most valuable player in uh, Mombasa in 202. Mm -hmm. That is when he was in Form 4. Mm -hmm. So for the two consecutive years, he was the most valuable player and top scorer at the same time yeah. at the National. Mm -hmm. And because he was a midfielder and also the top scorer, it means that he had an uh, ability that nobody else had. Mm -hmm. But I can't say, you know, his team had a, a couple of players and all of them played at the National team. Mm -hmm. And some of them were here uh, with him. So I think uh, Mariga, a very disciplined chap, mm -hmm. and I can still see he maintains the discipline that he had during that time. Mm -hmm. I hope when he given an opportunity, I think he can uh, uh, make another Kenya, another federation, another good federation that Kenyans will want to see and also to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Having known Mariga for over 20 years, probably with this new journey together with uh, Hussein, what is that one thing that you would really uh, love or rather liked for them to work on first? One, I think they must bring back uh, the interest. People must come back mm. to the field. They must bring proper management, put structures, mm -hmm. especially development uh, stages. They must go to the ground we must start uh, doing development from young, young, young ages, five years, 12 years. We must bring under 16, under 12, under 20. Uh, we must have inter-county competitions. We must uh, have uh, scouts to come and see our players. But above all, we must have good management so that our players also get the benefit of being a good players in this country and bring a bit of professionality, professionalism, partnership with the stakeholders and sponsors. Let's have professional players, our national team to be taken care of so that Kenyans can go back to where it was in the early years. Sure. Yeah. Looking at these uh, cameras, maybe talk to Hussein and Mariga. Yeah, Mariga and Hussein, I, I hope they will uh, guide the federation when they will be elected on the 7th of December. Yeah. I hope that they take uh, the concerns of Kenyans about the structures of football, about the uh, development of, uh, of football from a younger age to higher age to make sure that we have good facilities. In this country, you can imagine now Kenya cannot host any international match. We have to go to Uganda. Yet we are a bigger economy, almost 10 times Uganda. So we must have good structures uh, that will help develop uh, football in this country. So I think as they come into the office, they need to know that Kenyans are waiting for them. 
Kenyans are hoping that they will bring uh, to this country what has been lacking for a couple of years and we need good management in uh, sporting activities. Yes. All right, thank you so much. Asante,